So for this problem, we're going to assume that Homer represents Jill and also Jack because they're running in the same direction. Jill ran up the hill at 3 meters per second. The horizontal component of Jill's velocity is 2.2 meters per second. So express the angle of the hill in degrees for part A and for part B, what is the vertical component of Jill's velocity? So we can see that Homer is running uphill with a velocity which magnitude is 3 meters per second and is parallel to the surface of the hill. The magnitude of the velocity is 3 meters per second and you can see that it's a green arrow. The blue arrow represents the X component of the velocity. The problem stated that this component is 2.2 meters per second. The angle in between the magnitude and the X component is the same angle in between the ground and the surface of the hill. I placed both vectors in a canonical way on a Cartesian plane. The green arrow is the magnitude and the blue arrow is the X component of the velocity. So we're going to use the function cosine. Cosine of theta is Bx over B. So we say cosine of theta is equal to 2.2 over 3. Then we apply arcosine to both sides and we get that theta is equal to arcosine of 2.2 over 3. When we plug this in the calculator, we get that theta is 42.8 degrees over the x-axis. Now, for part b, if we want to calculate the y component of the velocity, we have to use the Pythagorean theorem. a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared. Then we say that b squared is the magnitude that we have, equal to bx squared, that's the x component of the velocity plus by square, that's the one we want to find. We apply uh, this theorem and we replace with the numbers that we have. We use some algebra and we get that by square is equal to 4.16. We take the square root at both sides and we get that by is going to be 2.04 meters per second. So we actually get plus or minus 2.04 meters per second, but we choose the positive one because Homer is going up, he's not going down. So we have to choose the positive component of the velocity. And this is everything we have to calculate for this problem. If you have any comment or questions, let me know in the comments. Thank you.